we need to focus on what are the most uh, attended aspects of a masjid by the average Muslim community. And we need to make sure that that is the best experience. So for uh, well, I'll say what I mean. Number one, the khutbah is the most important function in the American Muslim community, right? It's the main contact that all Muslims have with the minimal amount of Islam that they're going to get. So the khutbah needs to be of the highest quality. That means that when you're bringing speakers in, you need to make sure that they're qualified speakers. You need to make sure that they're not only qualified, but they're trained public speakers. You know, this is the, the, the problem is we either have very charismatic speakers, but they don't have Islamic knowledge, or we have people which have very good Islamic knowledge, but they're not trained to be public speakers. So I really believe that the community needs to invest in the highest quality khatibs because the khutbah is like the 20 minute, 25 minute highest quality, most impact to the general Muslim community. The khutbah needs to be the highest quality. You need to take the people and make sure that they have Islamic knowledge. And then you need to send them to like the Carnegie Institute to like learn public speaking and learn to really like a khatib should be putting in like five to 10 hours prep time into a khutbah because of the amount of impact that it's going to have. But you also need to make sure that if they're employed, the masjid understands that they need that time. That That's an investment of time that's going to ha have a major impact. So the khutbah needs to be really powerful. The masjid experience, the Juma experience needs to be really, really good as well. Everything from announcements to how you feel, to traffic flow, to parking, resolving the parking problem, because that's going to bring, have the maximum effect. Then when it comes to Islamic education, Islamic education needs a lot of investment to be very high quality. And what I believe is that there's two types of, of, of parents. There's when, when it comes to kids' education, there's a type of parents who are happy with the babysitting model. And if they're happy with the babysitting model, then at least they're going to get something. But there should be a simultaneous another option. And basically, you need to present to parents and say, listen, we have two programs. One of them is the babysitting model. We give you a little bit of Islamic education. But then there's another one. It costs a little bit more money. It takes a little bit more time and investment. But this is the higher quality program. And you encourage and say, this is what your kids get out of a high quality program. And this is what your kids get out of the low quality program. And then you let parents decide. What do they want to have? But you can. what you cannot do is you cannot combine both of them together. Because what you do is if you have high quality kids and high quality families coming in, then the ones who are not interested in that will actually bring them down. So we need to have an elite program and we need to have the common program for everybody else. And of course, you should be able to transfer back and forth between the two programs. This is what I've always advocated for youth groups. So I say, you know what, someone, if, if the kids are serious but their parents are not serious – you talk to the kids and say, you seem to be quite serious. Would you like to transfer into the serious program? And you let them. And, you, and, the, and the parents are very serious, but the kids are not. They, they got into the this program and say, listen, you don't really seem like you want to be here. You seem like your parents just threw you here. We're not going to pressure you to be here. If you really don't want to be here, you can transfer back to the, the more fun, fun and games program. And you let them. And therefore, now everyone is in the right place where they really want to be. And... Now you have responsibility. If someone comes out and says, you know what? I put them in Islamic school. Islamic school should have fixed the problem. Say, well, which one did you put them in? In the quality one or in the, the, the regular one? Oh, you did the low quality one because you didn't want to spend the money. You didn't want to put the time. Well, what did you expect? That's what you got, right? And then no one can come back and be like, well, what happened? I don't understand why my kid is having doubts about Islam and doesn't want to come to the masjid. Well, that's what you invested in. So I think we need to really think about these models and, and develop them and invest a lot into education.